What's up guys, Steer with Scotch and Things. Um, <clears throat> hey, another video uh, I'm gonna make real quick um, about knee surgery I had in mid-February. I've mentioned it in a couple other videos and surprisingly, um, a couple of you have sent me messages asking um, to talk about my knee surgery because as many of you watching this channel, you know, we're probably in the same age range and but many of you um have said that you're actually looking at having the surgery um sooner in the future or you need you're gonna you know you're gonna need to have it and you wanted to know what it was was like so um what it was is i tore my i tore my um meniscus and I did that, oh, two years, three years ago. Um, I was running on a treadmill and just incredible pain and my knee kind of locked up. Um, and then it was just, uh, I had to have a physical for uh, my CDL and the doctor could tell just by uh, moving my knee that it was tore. Um, but we were going into our busy season and I couldn't really do, you know, couldn't really deal with it. So I dealt with the pain and what it was like for me was just kind of walking. Um, you would get kind of a catch in your knee or, and there'd be a sharp stabbing pain. Um, what I later found out from the surgeon was I had trouble kneeling, like I couldn't squat. I couldn't like compress that knee down. Um, and it was like fluid and swelling and so I just kind of lived with it for a couple years. Didn't, uh, wasn't able to really work out. And finally this winter, um, I knew I had to do something because I couldn't, I mean, out of the three, you know, a lot of sports injuries are the, the MCL, the ACL, or the meniscus. And I, I, from what I gather, the meniscus is the, the best one to tear. I mean, an ACL or an MCL, um, is a pretty major surgery where the meniscus is, you know, it's an outpatient surgery and, you know, within a week you're feeling a little better and within a month you've got full mobility, pretty much, pretty much. Um, but I just really got kind of tired of the pain and I wanted to be able to be more active, more active than I was. So, you know, I love riding bikes and I, that wasn't something able, I was able to do because it was just that bending, you know, on your downstroke, you straighten out and then when you come up, your knee bends um, and it was just a lot of pain. And so enough was enough. I wanted to be able to work out, you know, really be able to work out again and um, it was time to take care of it. Hold on real quick. I'm gonna stop the video and then we'll start back up in a second. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so like I said, uh, finally decided to um, have it done and you know you have to go through all this stupid rigmarole uh, met with the surgeon they do um, so you guys want to know what the process was like so obviously you know what the pain's like because I, I just described that because you've obviously have that and maybe you've met with a doctor and and know what it's um, gonna be like uh, so I, I just talked about the pain issue and, and how I did it well, that, that was the final straw that day running on the treadmill. Met with, um, and this was kind of a surprise to me. Um, so I'm 44, but met with the met with the surgeon, they take x-rays, they look at the x-rays. And what it is, there's, it was just weird, there's multiple tears and I, I have, I had pictures and I'll, I'll try and find them, I can't, I mean, like I said, this was back in February and it's not something that, you know, I thought I'd keep because they were just goofy um there were the x-rays that i couldn't tell anything on but then the actual pictures um when they went in and did the surgery they took pictures of the tears and what they cut out um so basically the surgeon told me um basically it was he was you know this is 20 years of and what he's what he said was he called it and I didn't know this, but he called it basically like an, the start of an arthritic knee. Um, I thought it was just a tear and that, that's what it is, but he called it an arthritic knee and I might be looking at 
because of this, uh, maybe knee replacement surgery in 20 years when I'm 60, 65, which was a total shock to me. I mean, that kind of, that kind of set me back. Um, but basically he said, you know, there wasn't one thing that did this. It was just 20 some years of, of running. It was just my knees, you know, and you can do it other ways, but, um, sports all through high school and college and stuff and then you know <laughs> i played anything in college intramurals stuff like that but just a, a lifetime of sports i've been an avid bike rider my whole life um just there was a lot of wear and tear on my knees and there were multiple tears and basically what he did when they went in is uh, I think there were, I'll, I'll show you a picture of my knee beforehand, but basically I had three little, little scars around my knee. They went in in three places, and what he said they, they used to do was they would go in and they would take out the whole meniscus. Um, if you had a tear in your, they would just cut the whole thing out, and then basically what you had was just kind of your, your knee was just bone on bone, um, and they said that just really didn't work out well. So now they, uh, they go in, and they they cut the tears out because that meniscus kind of acts like a like a filter it's kind of like a barrier between the bones which was what my understanding was um think of it as like uh that foam pad or whatever between your floating floor between your like pergo floor that little foam pad between the subfloor you know that little gives it that little squish to my understanding that's what the meniscus is i i could be wrong um, th these were just my impressions from the doctor. So they cut those parts out. And like I said, this was an outpatient thing. Uh, I got put completely out for the surgery. It wasn't a local. That was just um, his preference. Uh, you know, um, woke up later that day, knees completely wrapped up, uh, hobbled out on crutches. Honestly, uh, we paid the 40 bucks for the crutches. Um, didn't really need them. I used them for like a day. Uh, we had, and we have a lot of stairs in our house, but I was just kind of able to hop around. The recovery process, you know, they give you all these exercises to do. I had to keep the wrap on, this compression wrap that they gave me for two days. Took that off, was able to take my first shower. Um, after two weeks, I went in and like I said, they give you all these motion, um, motion exercises to do um but honestly after a day or two there's pain they gave me oxycotton or oxycodone i took one pill that first night uh because i woke up in the middle of the night just in this it was just kind of this throbbing pain otherwise it was just um tylenol not advil tylenol and a combination of Tylenol and baby aspirin. Um, they just for said for like blood clots or whatever, but mine was, uh, like I said, um, I had the prescription for the oxy, codone, cotton, whatever it was. Took one pill that first night, just because I woke up at like two in the morning with incredible, like just this throbbing, throbbing pain. Um, other than that, it was manageable with Tylenol. Um, and the recovery process was honestly pretty simple. I mean, the mobility you got back was fairly quick. Like, like you said, you do those exercises, which is kind of like the um, recovery, the rehab. You don't have to go, I didn't have to go in. They just like give you a list of stuff to do um, at home. And at two weeks I went in and they looked at it again. They pulled the stitches and really within a month, I couldn't really tell anything every once in a while i still get a weird stabbing pain um if i tweak it wrong um he said that don't worry you know there's nothing i can do to damage it like i guess maybe if i were to re-tear something but i can do nothing to screw up their surgery like i wasn't gonna undo whatever they did um i've been able to squat and kneel down now which is phenomenal um, I started riding my bike again, which is amazing. He said, I'll never run again. He said, you, you know, I, there was a time like in my twenties and thirties, I was running three to four miles a day, um, three to five times a week. 
So uh, he said, you'll never run again. Cause I was excited. I'm like, so I'm gonna be able, I, I truly enjoyed, you know, running. Um, and he said, you'll never, you'll never run again. So I did buy, you know, we invested the money into a, one of those Nordic track free stride, um, you know, like a low impact thing, something um, more for like when I'm home uh, in the winters working or when we're not working in the winter, something to do to keep in cardio shape. But otherwise, I've just truly um, been enjoying the pain-free walking around and being able to kneel down and squat and truly just ride my bike again. Um, so those of you that are worried about it, it wasn't, uh, it's not a painful process. Yeah, there's some pain involved in it, but I wouldn't, like I said, I put it off for three years after my initial, part of it was work, we were going into our busy season, but I had unwhole, was that one, two, one winner? two winters worth of um, one, yeah, a whole year. I could have done it last year and I didn't. I ended up doing it this year. So I put it off when there was no reason to. If, if you're worried or if you're on the fence about it, get it done. Um, it's a simple procedure and it just makes your daily life better. You're more comfortable again. So any more questions, um, hit me up. Uh, those of you that are pondering doing it or whatever um hope that helps you guys out that are on the fence uh, i know a lot of you are in my age range and looking at these issues as we get older so um hope you dug the video like share subscribe and i'll i got some cool knives um that i've gotten over the last couple months i'm gonna do some videos on and hopefully some more shooting i know those s15 mags there's tons of reviews out there and I've still haven't had a chance to shoot mine. So those are still, those are coming up uh, with a lot of other fun stuff. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.